There you are. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a story? But the dark hour occurs each night, right at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Uh, I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> holdup? Wasn't that... Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter anymore. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. 
We kicked some ass. But damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. Did we make it in time? Hey, why are we still moving? We're going too fast! We have to put on the brakes or else! What are you waiting for? There's a train up ahead! Damn it! I don't know how to stop this thing! Did we stop? Uh, I think so. Is everybody all right? Uh, yeah. We're okay. <laughs> My knees are shaking. Dude, I'm like drenched in sweat. <sighs> I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry I couldn't do more on my end. I don't detect any more shadows. You guys did a great job, so come on home. But... how did you know which one was the break? Are you shitting me? Ah, uh, whatever. You wanna grab a bite to eat? I'm freaking hungry. Thanks for your help. The enemy was sly, but you did well. I did what I could. And you too. For withstanding the enemy's mental assault. All right, let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari! About that thing you mentioned the other day? You found out something? Cool. Tell me later. All right. We should head back, too. Come on, Junpei. What are you doing? So, you're the hero again, huh? Yeah, right. You know it's not. Hey, why do you have to be like that? Don't tell me you're jealous. Shut up. What's up his butt?
It's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly! Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? I'm sure she's waterproof. What's wrong, I guess? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? Join them. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. Until then, enjoy the last day of your vacation! Well, tomorrow will be our last operation. Yeah. We've been through a lot this last six months. Don't you think? <laughs> it sure was. Well, it was a lot better than doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's all been worth it if you ask me. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And you don't hear me complaining. Sonata-san. <laughs> two and a half years is a long time. Oh, wait. For I guess... It's been even longer, huh? I was asleep for much of the time, so I have not been in operation for very long. How about you, Mitsuru-senpai? You started before Akihiko-san, right? Me? Yes, it was just me at first. Of course, back then, seas didn't exist, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you? No. I've been aware of the dark hour since I was a child. One time, my father's research team was attacked by shadows. That's when I awakened to my persona, when I witnessed the incident. That's what happened? 
It seems I was the first. If that had never happened, perhaps none of you would have to bear this terrible burden. Senpai. It would have happened to someone eventually. Besides, the enemy can't just be ignored. I suppose that's true. Nice spread. Oh, the slices are huge! Man, I'm starving. Can we eat? Hey, where are Aiga's son and Akutsuki son? Ah, he took her to the lab for a tune up or something. He said they'd join us later. <laughs> the chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? That must be my father. We've been waiting for you. So, it's over at last, huh? Yes. Congratulations, everyone done well. There are no words to express my gratitude. Though you will never receive the recognition you deserve, it is undoubtedly a monumental achievement. Thank you. To you, I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. No big deal. The twelve shadows that were the cause of all our troubles have been destroyed thanks to your efforts. You needn't bear this burden any longer. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. The specialized extracurricular execution squad will be dissolved as of midnight tonight. No longer must you put your lives on the line in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Is something the matter? Oh, it's nothing. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits you. There is no need to hold back. Eat as much as you'd like. Sweet! I've been waiting for you to say that. Cheer up, Junpei. Yeah? So what do you want? This came for you. It's from the hospital. That's... They were going through her items when they found that. I know I have to snap out of this. But it's just so hard. Junpei, can I take a look? 
you wouldn't be able to understand her drawings anyways. Wait, is this? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't be able to understand it? Uh-huh. Is this? It's a detailed portrait of Junpei-san. Chidori. <laughs> Junpei. It's like she's telling me to stop moping around. She must be looking out for you. I promised to fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. And I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. It still bothers me a little. But I want you to know that I'm counting on your abilities. Junpei. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying. So there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then. Okay? Hey. It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form. And wasn't known by this name. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow... You'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. 
it's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Right now, you are all confused by the truth. But some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. She'll be at Tartarus. You must reach the top of the tower before the promised day. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st, 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. If you go to the top of Tartarus on that day, you'll be able to face her. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. As the appraiser, I usher Nyx into this world, and Tartarus welcomes her arrival. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. That's why it's called the Tower of Demise. So if we reach the top, we can fight Nyx? Yes. But remember, from today you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth. And then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. ryoji kun I guess I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess. 
Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this. But I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya! <laughs> that Ryoji.